press the console switch to enable contour base cutter height control. The status icon will begin flashing yellow. Go to the crop divider setup page 2 and confirm return to cut is checked on the display. The floating crop divider switch is on and at least one floating crop divider is enabled. Press the base cutter lower button to the second detent or the configurable all on button to lower the base cutter and activate the system. The crop divider and base cutter status icons will change to solid green when forward travel begins. If manual base cutter height control is desired initially, activate the raise lower button to the first detent to set the desired base cutter height for harvest conditions. Press the base cutter target height capture soft key on the display to set the target height at a desired setting. The contour base cutter control increase or decrease soft keys can then be used to change the base cutter target height. The floating crop divider position will provide predictive input to control the base cutter height as they follow the surface contour. If the actual base cutter height consistently differs from the target height, press the target capture button to reset the target to the more consistent height. Should the base cutter make heavy contact with the soil surface, an increase in base cutter drive pressure will result and may surpass the target pressure. The base cutter height may be automatically overridden to reduce dirt in the cane and damage to the stubble. The override pressure is the difference between the normal harvesting pressure and the point at which pressure override occurs. The override pressure can be adjusted by selecting the base cutter pressure graph. A pop-up screen with plus minus soft keys will be displayed, which can be used to increase or decrease the override pressure range. Here, the base cutter target pressure is 1,159 PSI. The override pressure is set at 300, which means that the base cutter would raise at 1,459 PSI should ground contact occur. Lowering would be attempted based on a time setting when the pressure drops to 859 PSI, returning the base cutter back toward the target height. The setting is a balance between the amount of dirt allowed in the cane sample and stubble height and can vary according to operating conditions. A higher override setting could result in increased dirt in the cane sample and shorter stubble. A lower setting could result in a cleaner cane sample and longer stubble. Lower settings could also result in unintended lifts and longer stubble if ground speed is increased. Tangled and down cane may also require increasing the override setting due to overall higher base cutter drive pressure.